So it finishes Tottenham nil, Liverpool 1. Tottenham actually had more chances, uh, more shots than Liverpool, but in the end, it's Firmino's goal that proves the difference between the two sides. What's all that mean? 16 points. Leicester have let me down again. <laughs> 16 <laughs> points <laughs> uh, is the gap between Liverpool and Leicester. Leicester losing at home against uh, Saints today. This is a record, it's never happened before. Liverpool's 61 points are the most ever registered after 21 games in a single season across Europe's top five leagues. Unstoppable. Um, sums up quite nicely, didn't they? They weren't really at their best today either, were they? They just get it done. Uh, well, I mean, they were pretty good uh, for, for a good hour or so. Uh, they're just an unbelievably well-oiled machine at the moment. Just go from one one away game to a home game to a travel to whatever, just to getting results and okay the last 20 minutes it was a bit hairy for them and it was kind of they switched off but they're just by far and away at the moment and they'll have to prove it but the best team in Europe not going to argue with that oh you'd be an idiot if you Fair did <laughs> do you know what do you know what something struck me today that when I was playing in the Liverpool side, it was all about possession. If somebody tried to put a ball in behind and give it away, a lot of the times the older guys would get on you and say, hold on, no, keep the ball, keep the ball. This Liverpool side, it doesn't matter whether it's the first minute mm. or the last minute, will put balls in behind from anywhere. And every single one of the front guys expects it and you can see them go on before it's even played. That's unusual. Because, particularly in a game like this, where you're 1-0 up, you should be further ahead, that should be the time to change something. And Liverpool don't. Now, maybe, if they're going to have a hiccup, maybe that's where it is. Because at 1-0, it looked like they were going to lose a goal. I thought they were going to lose a goal, and I was shocked that the Celso never scored. But if there's anything that goes against them, that's it. I mean, it was one point in the first half. It was, I know they haven't, didn't have Harry Kane, but they had, other, they had a very attacking line-up out, actually, Spurs. Didn't seem that way, but they had a lot of attacking players. Uh, but they just could not get out of their own half. Yeah. There was one point in the, during the first half that Deli Alley got on the ball and literally half-volleyed it. He booted it. And it was up into the, <laughs> the, the, yeah. the left, wing, left wing position. And there was no Spurs player within 30 or 40 yards of getting there and I think there was just a sense of frustration that there was more and there is more to come from this Spurs team not that they were good enough to compete with Liverpool but they were better than we saw for 70 minutes today sure. were, how, how do we sum up Spurs today? <coughs> they, were, they were absolutely awful on the ball for 70 minutes until until he decided with 20 minutes to go right let's just kind of open it up a wee bit here right after the final 20 minutes they actually looked like why Spurs. didn't he do that earlier? Well, because he doesn't do that. The problem when you're playing against this Liverpool team is if you open up early, you can lose five or six. So he doesn't, and, and we know he's not going to do that. Right. But even saying that, when they did get the ball in that first 70 minutes, they were terrible on it. Yes, Liverpool closes you down quickly, but some of their passing was absolutely <coughs> abysmal. And, and so a combination of Liverpool pressing them plus them just not being able to pass to each other, which is why they were just overran for 70 minutes. They were terrible on today. They were terrible on the ball against Chelsea at home. They were terrible on the ball at Wolves away, but got, I can't remember if it was a win or a draw, but got a result and were booting the ball up the field to Harry Kane early on. You'll be able to sell that to an extent when you're playing Liverpool. See what? Well, we're not at that level at the moment. We're a bit, we're, there's, a, there's a stretch to say we can compete with them. So, But you won't get away with that against the others in the Premier League yeah. on a regular basis because the crowd will turn, uh, the players will turn. Uh, and I'm not saying Mourinho's... I'm not, I'm not saying like he's trying to throw players under the bus or anything like that, but players will soon get fed up with that. I mean, I saw before Harry Kane get injured, I saw his face that day at that game at Wolves because he was feeding on scraps, and I could sense the frustration of the changing style of, of, of play. And, you know, players will soon... Players that are used to playing that way will accept it. But players that are used to passing the ball... They'll, 
they'll start they, questioning they'll, him. They'll, they'll, they? get, they'll get fed up. They'll start him. questioning him. Right. You know, they'll they'll find themselves in a comfortable position because it's, it's, it's doubtful that they'll get in the top four the way they're playing. So eventually, the, the senior guys are going to go, well, hold on a second, who is this guy? This was the guy that was meant to come in and get us back to where we were under Pochettino when we were doing well. Sure. But we're actually not any better from the minute he's walked in the door. Because right now, if you stop Pochettino on the bench, you wouldn't, you wouldn't tell the difference between this side and Mourinho's side. Uh, Mourinho took aim at the officials after the game. This is uh, what he had to say about that Robertson challenge. Um, they were lucky they could perfectly finish the game with 10 because the VAR at that time, they were having a tee <coughs> and they didn't want Robertson for a red card. He's back. Mr. Well, Deflecto. Well, Mr. Cap Sorry, Captain Deflecto. Yeah, Captain Deflecto. Is back we, we, we heard what Stevie said. Craig, well, what do you on think? That, on that angle, it, it, seem, it does seem... And, and people seem to have a problem with this. It does. There's no doubt that the touch got away from Andrew Robertson. There's no doubt about that. He then had to stretch himself, but he stretched himself and got there before right. the Spurs Indiana, player yeah. and won the ball. And then there was a contact. Now, you will have some people out there who really have no idea. Well, people are screaming, going, and we'll show it later on, won't we? The Aubameyang red card. Well, and the, then, well, people the, say, what's the difference? Well, the difference is, is that he... he, he He's nowhere near the, the ball's not even in the frame, and the, the ankle goes over. The, 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 the bottom line here is, and I always say this to people, is, is the, the one objective of a defender or a player trying to win the ball is to play the ball, right? Now there is always going to be an element of force and aggression within any challenge, and a player's momentum, particularly one as quick as Robertson, you can't stop yourself going through, and you're more likely to get injured if you pull out of a challenge like that. So. The difference is he, he attempted to win the ball, albeit at a stretch, and did. Right. The difference with Aubameyang is he attempted to win the ball, was nowhere near it, and completely cleaned the player out. So therefore, he's got no defence. Am I, am I, am I right or wrong? I don't absolutely. Know. The only reason Taranga gets caught is because he's late. Right. So how is it Robertson's fault when he gets to the ball slightly before Taranga... So how can he turn around and say that this is Robertson's fault? Taranga, 100%. It's his, number one, it's his own fault he got caught. He's late, and it's got nothing to do with Andy Robertson. Um, right, but I won the ball. I won the ball, boss. Yeah, but, but, but listen, you, you went in a little bit too hard to win that ball. <laughs> yeah. So can you just temper it the next time because somebody may it's get Jose, injured? Jose says... This is... This is after all, still a contact sport, I believe. One that's been scaled back mightily over the years, but it is still a contact sport and it's still an occupational hazard, unfortunately, that people do uh, get injured. And you take the aggression out of it and you take away the game and everything it's about. It, it was a, 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 a zealous challenge, but it was, it was one that was rightfully he took, he won it, it was a stretch, and it's, it's no big issue, unless you're a do-gooder. Right. That thinks everybody who, who should make a challenge or should be... Or should, you're deflecting. Should be putting yeah. a warning sign up. Yeah, well, you're deflecting in another defeat. Wow. Um, no, I saw other people saying that should have been a red card as well. Uh, you would be a very, very brave person to put up any sort of argument as to why... Hold on, I've got one. Le what, what? No, they've played Leicester. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> 16 points compared to four in France, two in Germany, one in Italy, and, of course, it's level in Spain. It is over. Liverpool will be the Premier League champions this year. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.